has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Graham. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Three yards the game there, second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Again, it's Graham. His throw caught right around the six. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Steelers are able to close the gap just a bit. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Certainly no reason to panic. They've got the three-score lead, but the turnover last time, the interception that led to a touchdown, you'd have to think they might not be dialing that up again. Yeah, probably not. They're still in fantastic shape, though, so I would imagine before we tried it out here for this series, head coach probably just leaned over to him and was like, listen, we're wearing... These color shirts, <laughs> throw it to those guys, not the others. Try to make a joke out of it and just let them go out there with a little bit more confidence. On second down, here's Burrow. He finds his target, it's Schultz. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. The reception good for seven, it's third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. He's got Jack Doyle. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. This so O-line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so, because we are grading them on their performance in this game. A lot of pluses in their boxes so far. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away.
be accepted. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. The interception was a good starting point, but still a huge hill to climb with his three-score deficit and time fading. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. They'll throw on first down with Graham. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Roberts. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Throwing now, Graham on first down. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. A gain of six. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Uh, partner, when you see a screen pass and the defensive tackle ends up making the play, you know that one wasn't sold well at all because he should be upfield by the time you throw the pass. If not, you end up with big trouble, as we just saw right there. They are going on fourth down. Graham, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 39. There he goes, right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there, and that pick six will be the icing on the cake. Yeah, you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get, so really, you're almost at the point of no option. Have to go for it. Bottom line, though, is defenders know that as well. They know you've got to throw the football. Had the right defense called, able to make a nice play on the ball. And that's all she wrote. And now the offense for the Bengals being called back out as they'll try to add on two more. Now it's the backup, Newton. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit. But going for two in this situation, somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No, no, okay. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided 